This is uh, the Alhambra Water Tower, uh, located in Coral Gables, Florida, and I thought it was a unique uh, uh, thing. It's disguised as a lighthouse, but it's really a water tower, and, and my interest in lighthouses brought me here. Um, I was at a gallery, uh, and someone had done a mosaic of this tower uh, in little pieces of tile. It was really awesome piece and I became interested in the tower and decided to come down here and look at it. The tower is being, currently being restored and they're raising money. Um, if you want to find out where to donate, uh, just contact me. Um, I'll put a slide with my information and you can contact me and uh, make a donation to, I'll tell you who to make the donation to. Notice that they have a sundial on the tower uh, that was part of the original tower uh, but it was eliminated and they were looking at old photos and realized that there was a sundial and you can see this tower has been restored several times and the last one was in 1993 uh, they're working on it now you can see this door over here needs work and they have a dumpster over here um, and you can see it's full of debris uh, there are currently restoring it right now, but I thought it was really cool. The architecture is very typical of Coral Gables. George Merrick uh, had a vision for the city uh, of Coral Gables to make everything look like a piece of art. And he came, he, he was true to his vision. And I'll walk around the tower, see if you can get a 360 view here. And there's a lot of greenery around around the tower and makes it look very nice. It's a beautiful uh, piece of an era going by. It was built in 1924 when Merrick started uh, building this uh, city of Coral Gables in Miami-Dade County. And you can see here's the dumpster. Unfortunately it's here. But that's to give you an idea. They are currently restoring it. And you walk around, the sun's coming out. Unfortunately, it's coming out when I'm in the shadow. So you're going to see not too many vivid colors. Let me see if I can get a shadow. It's too dark, but you get the idea. And here's with the sun just over the horizon of the tower. It's a gorgeous piece of work. Nice, nice job, whoever did it, who had the vision. And you can see a very, a lot of oak trees, which are protected now in, in Coral Gables, so. You can see the tower here in the shadow. We're coming out of the shadow here, and you can see it's a beautiful piece of work. It's all copper on the top, which is very valuable right now. And you come down, and you have the structure. Uh, you cannot go in the tower at this time. Uh, it used to be a water tank uh, disguised as a lighthouse, <laughs> believe it or not. Uh, but it was disconnected a while ago uh, from the city as a water tower, and it's just a landmark right now. Um, I just found out about it, believe it or not, but I thought I'd come down and see it today. You can here see the uh, tower here with the sundial. Uh, it's saying it's around 3.30, which is pretty close where, what time we're taking this film. So it was very functional. And here's the tower. Uh, surfacing above the Ponciana tree, or in Puerto Rico we used to call them flamboyans. A gorgeous tree, I'm sure, when it's blooming in June. Maybe I'll come down here in June and uh, do a video with the uh, Ponciana or flamboyan blooming and the red flowers. But gorgeous tower. Here's a picture of view of the tower uh, through the oak trees on the other side of the street. I'll walk around. And you can 
can see it, it's real nice. Tower is real nice. Beautiful landmark, beautiful piece of work. I'm glad they're restoring it. I know the hurricanes take a beating on these cars, these uh, towers. This is the best view of the tower right now based on the sun's position. And you can see it's a beautiful building. Beautiful piece of work. And this is Bob Burns signing off. This is the Alhambra, not Ali, Alhambra, excuse me, Alhambra Water Tower in Coral Gables, Florida. Thank you.